If you haven't done so, please pause the video before moving on. The question, of course, is asking us how fast is the angle between the ladder and the ground changing when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall? And so in order to proceed in this question, we're going to have to come up with an equation involving the angle between the ladder and the ground. Now that angle in the diagram would be marked right here. If you'll notice, across from that angle on the opposite side, we have y, and we also have the adjacent side marked x. So think of a function that relates an angle, the opposite side, and the adjacent side of essentially a right triangle here. And of course that equation would be tangent. The tangent of the angle will equal the opposite, which is y, divided by the adjacent, which is x in this case. The next step is to differentiate this equation with respect to time. So we'll go ahead and do that. The derivative of tangent of theta would be secant squared of theta times d theta dt. We cannot forget to multiply by the d variable dt in these rates questions. We'll see the same thing on the other side of the equation. Now this is a quotient, so we're going to have to apply the quotient rule, and we'll go ahead and verbalize that. The quotient rule says to take the bottom term, which is x, multiply by the derivative of the top. Now the derivative of y in this case would be dy dt. Remember, we're taking the derivative d variable dt. We're taking the derivative with respect to t, that is. So we have the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top, which is y, times the derivative of the bottom, which would be dx dt. And that's all divided by the bottom squared. So in this case, it would just be x squared. And for now, we'll leave dy dt alone. The y is also going to be relatively easy to determine because we can just simply use the Pythagorean theorem. Once again, note that we have a right triangle, so we can do 6 squared plus y squared equals 10 squared. Let's go ahead and do that over here. And then if we simplify a little bit, we're going to find that y is equal to 8. It's basically a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. So we can plug 8 in for y. And on the bottom, once again, we have 6 for x. So we'll have 6 squared on the bottom. So actually, it's going to be helpful to go ahead and label the triangle with the known values. So we can replace y with 8, x with 6, and then the 10 is already labeled. Now, it turns out that we can also fill in theta, or rather, secant theta. We have to remember that this expression here is just secant of theta squared. Now, the secant of an angle, remember, is essentially the reciprocal of cosine. So, in other words, remember that the cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. That means that the secant of that same angle is going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So if you look at our triangle here, the hypotenuse is 10 and the adjacent side is 6. So basically the secant of theta will be the 10 over 6. So why don't we go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so so far so good. We have our equation, we're trying to find d theta dt, but we still have these terms over here that we haven't filled in yet. So that's our next step. Dx dt shouldn't be too hard to figure out, and that's going to be based on what they said here. They said the bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 0.7 feet per second. Think about that. The bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall. So the ladder, as it slides down the wall, might end up looking, well, that was supposed to be a straight line, might end up looking like this. You'll, you'll notice that the distance from the wall to the tip of the ladder there is actually getting larger. It's getting larger as the ladder slides down the wall. So that distance is increasing. Well, that distance is just the, the x distance, right? So what they're saying is that the x distance is changing at a rate of positive 0.7. It's positive because that distance is increasing as the ladder slides down the wall. So we can plug 0.7 in for dx dt here. What's challenging here is to find dy dt. Remember, y is this distance right here sort of from the ground up to the wall. Think about it, as the ladder is sliding down the wall, that distance is shrinking, isn't it? This, this distance, which begun, uh, which began as eight, is going to shrink as the ladder falls down. So we know that the dy dt, which is the how fast the y distance is changing, that's gonna be some negative value, but we have to figure it out before we can finish off this question. So that's our next step. So we'll come over here and we'll just remind ourselves of the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared would equal the hypotenuse squared. And what we're going to do is differentiate this equation with respect to time. So uh, to do that, we're going to have to use the power rules. So we'll pull that exponent down. We get 2x times dx dt. And then similarly, we'll have 2y times dy dt. 
and that's going to equal 2h times dh dt. Now we already said that we know a lot of these values here. We know x, we know dx dt, we know y, uh, we know the hypotenuse as well. So we can fill most of this in. Remember, our goal right now is to find dy dt. That's what we're trying to figure out here. And so the final point to make here is that the dh dt, that is how rapidly is the hypotenuse changing? Is it, is it getting bigger? Is it getting smaller? Well, of course, neither. The, the hypotenuse is the ladder itself, and as the ladder slips down the side of the wall, it's not getting bigger or smaller. It's still the same size ladder. So the rate at which the height of, of, of this ladder is changing is zero. So this is essentially zero, which makes the whole right side zero, and we can fill in our other known values and solve for dy dt. So there are the values plugged in, and when we solve for dy dt, we get negative 21 fortieths. Notice that it is negative. Make sure that makes sense because, again, as the ladder slides down the wall, this y distance is shrinking. So the rate at which it's changing should be negative. We'll go ahead and we'll fill in the negative 21 fortieths up here now. Okay, so everything now is known in this equation. We can go ahead and just solve for d theta dt. And that'll give us the rate at which the angle is changing as the ladder falls down the wall. It turns out that the answer is negative 0. 0 0.0875, and then the unit on that would be radians per second. How do I know that? Well, because in the bottom I have time, so that would have to be seconds, and on the top I have theta, which in calculus will be measured in radians. So there is the correct answer.